Last year, we had the honor and privilege to uh, have Haji and uh, Snowman do the front of the shop. You know, this year, we wanted to put out a call and say, hey, world, if you're listening, come design the shop. And a lot of people answered. You know, a lot of people put in submissions. There's a lot of great work. You know, but we narrowed it down to 10 people and wanted to give uh, give a chance, an opportunity for people to come and showcase their stuff. My name is Mark Wilson. I'm from Hampton, Virginia. Uh, my favorite artist is Haji. So I follow him, uh, ran into Lambs, and then I see that y'all do a lot of exhibitions, have a lot of artists that come through here. So it's, it's something you just pick up. I don't know what I'm doing, I was doing, but when I saw the opportunity, I was like, oh yeah, that's something I'm, I'm gonna try to go get. Like, that's, that's, that's a lot, anybody can get that. I mean, I, I felt blessed. It was a blessing for sure. Yeah, to have that many people vote for me. Like, I'm hitting family members, tell your family members, like, you know what I mean? It's just using every resource you have. Like, see how many people you know that if you can hit up, they actually go for you. I sketched it first, which was, uh, which wasn't tough, but it was different. Being so close up and then stepping all the way back and being like, oh no. So I had to sketch, I probably sketched over uh, three times each time just to get sizing down, sizing down and then cut it up with painting. That's how I processed it in my mind. And now I'm like going through, putting over the details and I'll probably go through it one more time just to, just to tidy it up. Um, so I knew I wanted characters. I knew I wanted um, something to reflect like the city or New York just in general. So with the subway. Um, and I knew I wanted to do something like cool aesthetically, like streetwear-ish. Um, and then just channeling, channeling that energy from like that old school in New York where they wear the soups and the mobsters and how that, that energy, I wanted to reflect it in the mirror as well. Um, I've did six feet by seven feet paintings. I don't think they're as long as this, but um, I primarily work big anyway. So I think working big my whole life, well, since I've been an artist has prepared me for this. I want them to be like, almost like that's gangster. Like, oh yeah, that's hard. Cause I feel like every uh, every other uh, building, their signs are very inviting. Very, you know, and I want them to look at this and be like, oh, oh, what's, what's going on over there? So I got a show on May 29th. That'll be in Brooklyn. Uh, you can go to my page and find all the information about that. I got a projection in New York City on June 15th on a building in New York, they'll project my artwork. So that'll be dope. And then I got another another exhibition coming up, a solo exhibit in DC. So that'll be really dope that uh, if people wanted to follow and show up to that. I feel like it's like an icon iconic moment so far in my career. I'll be back in New York soon. I'll come with my girl, my family members, come take pictures. Like this is just something big. You know, Lambs ain't going nowhere no time soon. So it's gonna be another artist that do this after that. So just to be one is just a blessing.